guys. So we're going to go ahead and make that card today. Um, it's a nice, simple card to make, and it's great for a masculine birthday. I never seem to have enough of those on hand. You can also interchange the colors and create whatever style you want, but I'm going to show you how I made that one today. What you're going to need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So this is cut at 8.5 by 5.5 and you score it at four and a quarter, so you get an A2 size card. You also will need a piece of basic gray. This one here is cut at five and a quarter by four, and then you're gonna need the um, Color Theory Design Designer Series paper. There are a bunch of different colors to choose from. I'm going to use the Crush Curry today. And you're also going to need the new punch which is called the um, Tailored Tag Punch. So this punch here is brand new. It's in the Occasions catalog. So we're going to use this today, and we also are going to use, which is out of the Occasions catalog, the new stamp set, We Must Celebrate. So I just love all the, the cute little animals on there, snail. We're going to use these two today. Like I said, they're coming out of the Occasions catalog. So during this time is also celebration. So for every $50 you spend pre-shipping pre-tax, you earn a free product. They also have some products that are, um, if you spend $100, you get to earn those products free. So I'll leave that information in the link of the video. So what we're going to do is just take our punch, and you're just going to punch out, I think I did seven or eight of these. So once you have your, your shapes cut out, then you're going to take your basic gray cardstock and you're just going to line them up on here, whichever way uh, you want them to go, whichever order you want. And once you get them lined up the way you want them, then you're just going to glue them down. Now what I did, some of these will run off the edge, so we're just going to cut those. So like this one here is going to go off the edge. So once you get it to where you like it, then you're going to use your um, tape. So you can use snail adhesive or fast fuse. So I'm going to use fast fuse. I'm just going to put a couple down. And I like to start with the one in the center first and work around that one. So you just kind of anchor these down. And, you know, if you want bigger space in between them, then, you know, make a bigger space in between whatever you'd like to do, however you'd like to style it. So these ones on the end here that I know are going to hang over, I just put the um, glue on halfway because I know I'm going to cut some of it off. So then what you'll do is you'll just end up trimming these. So I just took my paper snips and I just trimmed them along the edge here. And then if you wanted to, you could, if you had a big enough gap here or you feel like you needed to put one in there, you can use these and just finish off the piece someplace. But I'm just going to leave it like this. So then the next step we're going to do is just anchor this down to the front of your Whisper White cardstock. So once we have that anchored down, you're going to take a piece of your basic gray and you're just going to cut out one um. You're just going to cut out one piece with your tailored tag punch, and then we're going to stamp on here, happy birthday, and then we're going to pop this up with pop-up dots. So you can use whatever stamps in here you'd like to. I made this real simple. This would be great to um, make a whole bunch of these up. They're very easy to make. So, and it's a good way to use up your scrap pieces of paper. You can use any kind of design on the front of this card. I made one earlier with the Eastern Palette Suite. And then I also made one, which I goofed up, but I made it with the Berry Burst, but I stamped Happy Birthday um, 
upside down. So I'll do something with this later. I'll probably trim this up and use this on another card. But So then what I'm going to do is just take this and I'm going to use basic black ink pad. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the word happy birthday on your extra little tag here. And it should fit almost the whole word. It'll cut off the H a little bit. So once you do that, then what I did was I just kind of scraped it along the ink pad, all the sides, just to give it a little bit more definition. So it pops off that card. So it'll look something like, like that. So then what I did was I just found the spot I wanted to pop this up on. And so with this card, I think I'm going to pop it up right in the center. Then I just took my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals and put some on the back of this. And then I just, I'll just pop this up here right on the center. And um, you can see the yellow underneath, so it's kind of gives it kind of even more definition that way. And then all I did was take the mushrooms and the snail out of the set and I just used my basic black and then I'll stamp them mushrooms here and maybe I'll stamp another set of mushrooms over here kind of off the card and then I'll use my little snail and then maybe I'll put a little snail over here so very simple, quick card to make. And like I said, it's a nice uh, masculine birthday card. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget about the celebration going on right now. The celebration is going on through March 31st. So get in, out there shopping and get your free products. Thanks for watching.